So in today's video, I'm going to be doing the male version of the video that I uploaded last week, sharing the six best autumn winter fragrances that you men should be wearing when you want to smell sexy, cozy, addictive. I picked six fragrances, but to be honest, I could have picked so many more, but I didn't want to include any fragrances that I included in my men's sense that drive me crazy video. I wanted to give my mandem some new fragrances says that I haven't spoke about before. Anyways, let's get on with the video. So I'm just going to say that some of these fragrances are unisex. They can be worn by men and women, but oh, like these fragrances are, they are incredibly, incredibly sexy. And if I smell these on a man, like I would just go crazy. These are the fragrances that I want to smell on a man this autumn and winter. So the first fragrance that I'm going to recommend to you men this winter is Mansara's Red Tobacco. Fam, I effing love this fragrance, you know, like I got a decan of it and I am just obsessed. If you men out there love Carlisle from Puff and Smiley, then you are going to love Mansara's Red Tobacco because it doesn't smell similar, but they kind of share a similar vibe. So of course, this is a tobacco dominant fragrance. It's a very, very loud and strong fragrance, but I love how the powdery sweetness from the saffron combines with the apple. Apple, can I not speak today? As the fragrance dries down, the patchouli starts to introduce itself. It gets a little bit earthy, but the final dry down is very smoky. It's creamy and it's got a very vanillic base. This is for my mandem that like their fragrances loud and proud this is a beast it's an absolute beast if you like to be noticed then red tobacco is a hundred percent the fragrance for you and when i think about it actually red tobacco is the best performing fragrance on this list it would survive a zombie apocalypse that is how long this fragrance lasts when i tried it on my skin it lasted about 12 hours and on your clothes it will probably last a lifetime even if you wash your clothes you'll probably still be able to smell red tobacco on you it is so potent so this next fragrance is actually so, 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 so special to me. If future hubby is watching this and he wants to impress me, then get yourself a bottle of Puffum's Damali Herod's. I was saying to a friend of mine the other day that Herod is a fragrance that I want to smell my future husband wearing at least once a day because this fragrance to me is so, so, so addictive and I can't put my finger on what it is about this juice that is so addictive, but there is no other fragrance in my collection that I am this addicted to. When I smell this scent composition, my eyes roll back like, <sighs> Herod, Herod, Herod. It literally drives me absolutely crazy. And if you men want to impress the ladies, then Herod is 100% the fragrance for you. So Herod is another tobacco-based fragrance. And I've just realised that I've included a lot of tobacco-based fragrances on this list. And I didn't mean to, but there's just something so sexy about tobacco on a man like, whoa, bumba clot. But anyway, this is the most smooth tobacco vanilla based fragrance that you could put your nose on. It smells so, 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 so smooth. And it almost has this cherry-like feel to it. I know that there's not cherry in the notes, but I reckon that someone is trying to have me on because I honestly can smell some sort of cherry or fruit in this. Oh, I'm gonna spray it on myself now because I just need that addiction. But there's just something so soft and comforting and safe about this fragrance. It oh it's magical it really really is if you men like your tobacco fragrances you like your sweet fragrances and herod is a hundred percent the fragrance for you and if you're looking for a winter fragrance that you can wear on the first date to impress the ladies then this bad boy is gonna work absolute wonders it works wonders on me so i can guarantee that a lot of women would go absolutely crazy 
if they smelt this on a man. <sighs> if you wear this on a date with me, then it's game over. It is game over. So the next fragrance is in a similar realm to Parfum Stamali Herod, but it is a bit different. And I've been testing this fragrance for about a month or so now, and I've been really, really enjoying it. And that is a Fadem to Back Rouge. Actually... This fragrance doesn't remind me of Herod. It reminds me more of Tobacco Vanille. It doesn't smell similar, but it's got that same kind of spicy vibe with the ginger and cinnamon. But this is a completely different take on tobacco and vanilla fragrances. As in Tobacco Rouge, they replace the vanilla with honey, and this results in a lot more of a syrupier experience. But it's also quite resinous as well with that benzoin. To my note, Tobacco Rouge comes across a lot more subtle and classy in comparison to something like tobacco vanille or red tobacco it's a lot more of a subtle scent it's not the most loud and in, in your face because tobacco rouge isn't too loud i think that this fragrance is a lot more versatile to wear in the winter so you're safe to wear it in the office for example i've really enjoyed testing tobacco rouge for the last month or so it's a really really good fragrance for you men out there that are looking for something that's a little bit more classy it's sweet it's tobacco based resinous should 100 percent check out tobacco rouge for the winter time guys i have to apologize for that banging that's going on i'm not sure whether my neighbor's getting a little bit busy or whether he's hoovering i can't honestly tell but yeah i'm hearing some banging going on and i don't know whether it's feeding through to the microphone so apologies if you're enjoying this video and you haven't left me a thumbs up then my g come on what are you doing leave me a massive thumbs up and support your gal so next fragrance that is perfect for you men out there this winter is victor and rolf spice bomb extreme guys i am in love with this fragrance it is such a good designer release, honestly. This is an incredible spicy fragrance, which again contains tobacco. And in my opinion, I much prefer the extreme to the original as the tobacco and the vanilla is a lot more amped up. And I find that the extreme version lasts a lot more longer compared to the original. And I find that the spices linger around for a lot longer in the intense version. Whereas in the original, I find that the spices only last about an hour or two. But this is a fragrance for a man that likes spicy fragrances, but is looking for something that smells a little bit more mass appealing. And maybe you don't want to spend too much money on a winter fragrance. There's something about Spice Bomb Extreme that that reminds me of the holidays and I don't know what it is I think it's just all them spices and you kind of associate spices with holidays and Christmas treats and pies and everything but yeah it's just that perfect fragrance to wear maybe for the holidays when you want to smell comforted. Spice Bomb Extreme is 100% one of the best designer releases for the winter time and it's just a classic that you need in your collection. The next fragrance that you men must must wear in the winter is Initio Side Effect. Guys, I am absolutely head over heels with Initio side effects. I really want a bottle. It is just such a well done fragrance. It's so well blended. Blended? Blended, can I speak? Blended. It is so well blended and so smooth. Of course, it's all about the rum and the vanilla for me but none of the notes in this fragrance smell too harsh or really stand out that is how incredibly well blended this fragrance is when you smell it it just smells so smooth and so complete initial side effect is incredibly sexy juice guys if you men like the smell of rum and you like your beauty fragrances then this is a hundred percent a fragrance to try it's one of my favorite boozy fragrances of all time the fragrance is just so well crafted and i am absolutely addicted to the way it smells it is perfect for the winter so we're finally finally getting away from tobacco with this last fragrance but the final fragrance that i'm gonna recommend to my man them out there that want to smell like hot man fire this winter is Dior Homme Parfum. 
this is sexy 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 stuff guys <laughs> how do i say sexy so many times but yeah it's all about the iris for me but as this fragrance dries down you get some leathery touches but it doesn't overpower the fragrance in any way it's the most balanced leather instead the leather just adds this masculine edge it's classy it's woody it's creamy it's floral <sighs> It's perfection. It really, really is. I adore Dior Homme Parfum. Dior Homme Parfum is a winter fragrance that is perfect for a first date. I always say this, but I honestly feel that a lot of women would love to smell Dior Homme Parfum on a man. It's not the most mass appealing fragrance in terms of the scent composition, but there's something about Dior Homme Parfum that still smells so likeable to the masses if that makes sense it just has this really likable vibe it really really does it honestly makes me feel so happy and so comforted whenever i smell it and i know that a lot of you men are really going to love dior home parfum i would 100 percent recommend giving dior home parfum a try particularly if maybe you have Dior Sauvage and you're looking for something that's a little bit more classy and a little bit more grown and sexy, then please, please, please get your nose on Dior Homme Parfum because I think that is absolutely amazing. I would love to know what fragrances you love to wear during the winter time. Please let me know in the comments section. Please don't forget to subscribe. We talk about all things perfume here, being the best versions of ourselves smelling fantastic. And don't forget to leave this video a huge thumbs up as it really supports my visibility on this platform. And if you want to find out some more fragrances that drive me absolutely crazy, then I'm going to link a video at the top here so you can watch after this. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video on Saturday. Bye!